Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary from the internet. And uh, what do I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Paris 2022 in the men's under 60 division between Luca uh, Mahedzi, Mahedzi uh, from France and Jabba Papa Nashvili from uh, Georgia in the blue. So let's get this going. So Luca is in the white and Jabba is in the blue. Okay, Jabba Papi Nashvili? Papi Nashvili. Oh, Papa Nashvili. <laughs> okay, please, my pronunciations. They're horrible. All right. You can see how they're both looking to. Oh. All right. Luca. Was coming in. Wonder if that's going to be. All right, so let's see. If we can get their grips going, okay. That's a, that is, a, I think, the second or third time I've seen uh, Luca go for that. Uh, it hasn't really looked very threatening, very credible from my, from my eye, and I wonder if um, perhaps what he might do is change tactic and go backwards then yeah okay <laughs> you know because i said that people are gonna, are gonna believe that i watch these things in advance and i do not because i watch a lot of these videos and i don't have time to watch things more than once so um not based on the volume of, of what videos i put out wow whoa Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't know if there's a formal name for that, uh, but what it looked like there was that he picked them up by the belt um, and essentially tossed them in a weird way. And he landed on his side. Luca landed on his side. So that's why the it was awarded a Wazari. I don't know. If, even if he landed on his back, would that, be, would that count as, a, as an impulse? But... So definitely now, you're starting to see Luca ramp up the aggression. Okay, he's going for the. Is he going for the? He's going for the arm. He has to sit up on that. But that's definitely a mate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to it being once your body is lifted off for even a second, that's an automatic mate just from a safety perspective. But uh, it is happening relatively fast in the referee did call mate. No, no big deal. So, okay, nice attack by combination, right? Coming off of the drive, and going for the third. The, oh, okay. If there was a little more right rotation there, maybe Jabba would have got the second was already uh, off of that. Jabba, Jabba's really showing a lot of strength there, but I'm liking the the uh, the combinations I'm seeing out of Luca. I saw definitely saw some. Okay, yeah, definitely saw some potential in the other throws he was throwing. You know, nice drop from Jabba. Yeah, this is this is what you'd like to see here is one attack flowing into the next, to flowing into the next. The crowd's really urging on Luca here. I don't know how much time is left, but it's got to be down. Yeah, so a minute to twelve to go. This is the quarterfinals. So really gotta get going here. Donna Wazari. Oh, Wazari! Wow. So the comeback. They are now tied up. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Off of the Makikomi.
All right, so. Let's hope to see some more of the volume. It's been working for both players, really. Uh, throwing a lot of attacks in there. Good. I even appreciate that semi-attack uh, on the knees. Just... Oh. Oh. -ho. Able to stay on his knees uh, and was backing up fast enough. Is the armbar... Is he going for the armbar? Is he going for the hold down? No, he's not. Okay. Well, he was going for maybe, but... Uh, Jabba is able to swing over, relieve the pressure, and uh, neutralize the threat. 15 seconds to go until golden score. You're in basically golden score. I mean, you're at Wazari's each. You've been at golden score this whole time. This has been a lot of fun. Jabba with the very low stance. Okay, they're, gonna, they're basically waiting out for golden score. Yeah, okay, golden score time. Although, as I said, this is basically golden score. This whole time, ever since uh, Luca tied it up with a thrilling uh, last-minute uh, throw. Oh, okay. The drops AOA and the Ochi into... Uh, I like the combinations I'm seeing here. He's really pouring it on, Luca. You like to see it. Jabba is receiving a lot of instruction from his coach, being very demonstrative there towards his player. Oh, what's wrong? Okay. A penalty is being assessed. Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, he's this is the first penalty that's been assessed this match. It really doesn't seem like that's going to matter. But, yeah, he hasn't been attacking as much. And uh, Luca has definitely been the aggressor for, quite a, for a while now. There we go. That was so close. So close. The drive is there. The drive is really good. I think the only thing that was missing, well, he was able to get over a little bit earlier, I think. It, like, just a half second earlier in that drive. Might have gotten enough rotation in there to uh, get the Wazari. And uh, that's how it works in the you know high-level competitions. You have such low margin. That's it. Congratulations on the counter. For Luca, with the win in front of his home crowd, the crowd is going nuts. I'm quite enjoying myself. You know, I think this has been quite a fun match to call, uh, to watch, and to call. Obviously, Jabba has been very disappointed here. He had a nice, strong uh, attack early on. Uh, congratulations to Luca on the victory. Uh, let's have a look at that last sequence there. Uh, just uh okay so it's on the reversal yeah so actually the first attack by luca fails he's getting reversed by jabba who then also then gets reversed back again by luca and it's fast but it, it, it they are definitely different you know uh sequences so congratulations to Luca obviously Jabba you know disappointing for him uh, he did very well in this match um, very competitive very spirited very uh, enjoyable I enjoy this quite a bit. <laughs> if you enjoyed this match uh, consider hitting the like button or subscribing for more videos like this uh, if you have any feedback for me or for the or any comments on the match itself, please leave a comment. And until next match, have a great night.